Hi, Raven Knight here, Hi. and I'm with Genevieve Gibbons of the Canadian Cancer Society. Yes. Genevieve is running the uh, Screening Saves Lives program. That's right. So it's for the last, uh, it's for the last uh, since 2006 that I was, no, actually 2007, sorry, that I've been running the program as the coordinator of uh, the Screening Saves Lives program right here in Sudbury, Ontario. And what does the Screening Saves Live program do, Genevieve? The Screening Saves Lives program is a program that has a dual purpose. That is that I train women in our area where there are really people that haven't been screened or, or underscreened going for breast, cervical, or colon cancer screening. And so those three screening programs are the ones that are the Ontario-funded programs that we can go and get screened for, which, which are... Basically, you know what they are. They are the pap test, the mammogram, and the fecal occult blood test, which is the poo-poo platter. I call it the poo-poo platter. You do that in, the, in your own home, and you do it in the privacy of your own home, and that is what tells the doctor if there's blood in your stool, and then you go for a colonoscopy. The dual part of it, of the program, is that I train women in those underscreen, never screen areas to get screened, and then not to get screened, to give, get the word out about getting screened to everybody. So here we are in Costco giving the word out to people here at Costco to make sure that they're going for screening. And Raven Knight is a wonderful lay health educator of mine that I trained back in 2009 or something. And she has been going strong and going to booths and had the training that we do, that I do, and 12-hour uh, training. And she's been out since 2008 doing training like this and getting the word out at places like this that are, that's a wellness fair here at Costco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so as Genevieve said, I've been doing this for a while with her under her guidance and training mm -hmm. and we do regular updates as well to make sure that we're up to date on the latest, you know, what's yeah. going on, what the buzz is from the cancer, Canadian Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. um, so if people want to get the... Uh, FOBT kit to do the colon test, where, where would they get that? That is absolutely free and they go to their doctor first and they can even ask the receptionist. You don't have to wait for your doctor's appointment or something. Ask the receptionist for the fecal occult blood test. And here in Sudbury, they do have some of the pharmacists have it where some of the, some of the pharmacists all across Ontario do not. But here in Sudbury, I've checked with some of them and they do have the fecal occult blood test. You can pick it up right at your pharmacy. So go ahead and ask your pharmacist here in Sudbury for sure. Probably because we have a lot of people here who don't have doctors yet, so they still need access to the same uh, that's right. that's programs or the same uh, abil things. Yeah, that's um, right, the same health care. We have these thingamaboobs. Yeah. Thingamaboobs. Yeah, and the new campaign. Can you tell us about the thingamaboobs? Yeah, the thingamaboob is a great, it's a new campaign that they're doing, although they've been around for quite some time, and that they, they are now being given away for free. And the campaign right now is find it before you feel it. And what the thingamaboob message is, is that it's a funky keychain that is an informational keychain that tells us that the, that we explain to women the different grades of cancer tumors that a woman finds, finds in her breast. The first one is the self, breast self-exam. That's the biggest one. The next one is the first time she goes for a doctor's exam. The next one, a manual exam. And then the next one is the first time mammogram. And that teeny weeny teeny one, you can't even see, I'm sure, on the, on the video, is if you go for regular mammograms. And my case in point that I always tell people is my sister found, they found cancer by a mammogram, my sister, and she held this up to the doctor and said, okay, doc, what size is it? And he said, oh my gosh, it's not even on there. Two of them the size of a piece of salt. So that's the message of the thingamaboob is to go early. You will not get the invasive uh, treatment that happens if, you're, if you're, the tumor is larger, that the treatment, you may lose your breasts and, and, and uh, much more invasive treatment than that. And if they find it early, like my sister, they, she only needed a lumpectomy and only had four chemo treatments. And another lady here at Costco said they only, she only needed a lumpectomy and radiation and yeah. never lost her hair or anything. So, yeah. I mean, that's the message of the thingamaboob. And so Raven and I are handing these out today. And uh, across Canada, they're handing them out, um, in Ontario, rather. But this is all across Canada that we're getting these thingamaboobs out to to the public. And, oh, can I go on about the other part yeah. of the, the campaign? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. It is for women, if they go online to www.cancer.ca forward slash women to women, and I'm pretty sure women to women. It's on your yes. T-shirt right here. It women is. to women, the T-O, not the number two, but T-O, women. Again, go on that website, and you can get 10 
thingamaboobs as a woman. You will get 10 thingamaboobs. You register in what to say to women. You'll get the training on there, and you will also get 10 thingamaboobs in the mail. So that's really important that, mm -hmm. that they'll ten, tell 10 women, and those 10 women will tell 10 women, and we'll have it all across the country before long. Uh, every woman in Canada will be, will, be, we'll be will, will be aware, and we'll have this keychain to share. Yeah, so everyone will know. That's right. And then we won't have any excuses no, for, that's for right. any um, not pre screening. Pre screening. That's pre -screening. Not knowing. For yeah, not knowing, not knowing. That what the thingamaboob is. And it is a catchy, fun name. It but is. That's the, that's the whole point. Is that's the fun get, of it. That's the fun of it. That's yeah. right. That's right. I know we also talk about the importance of getting screening for cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. And I know that recently they've changed the stats on when it's time to go and get that. Do you want to talk about that a little? Yeah, sure. That that just happened about two years ago. And it is that women are now 21 years old. Instead of being sexually active for their paps, it used to be. It's now when you're 21. And so when women are 21 years old, uh, they do go for paps instead of going when they're sexually active. And this is because the mortality rate has decreased. They know that, the, I mean, the mortality rate has not, not decreased. The, the mortality rate has been shown that after 21 is when is when need, they need to check for cervical cancer even though you've been sexually active before that and we know the kids are younger and younger all the time but it's because that that cervical cancer does not grow quickly it's a very slow growing cancer like colon cancer and that it is also not shown the mortality rate under 21 is not shown that they're we're saving lives that way so they've changed it to to the uh, 21 years of age so, um, we have a customer here, so I'm going to let Genevieve go talk to her okay, client. And um, thank you, Genevieve, for that. So, I'm Raven Knight here, enchanting and enhancing your life.